All right, back for another beer review. And today I will be reviewing a beer from the Dewey Beer Company. And they are out of Dewey Beach, Delaware. And this is their colony of small animals. So they are calling this one an IPA that is brewed with Idaho 7 Motuac and Amarillo hops. Comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. This can is just over two and a half months old and i'm gonna give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a good friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber ridge over at ridgeopolis aka get a nose on a beer reviews for hooking me up with this one i'll post a link in the description box to both his channel and the beer mail unboxing video i did that contains all the goodies he hooked up with and uh ridge is a good guy go check out his channel if you like hazy ipa reviews you'll love his channel he's been branching out a little bit more uh recently but uh he loves his hazies and that's why he sent me quite a few of them now I'm not going to, just like I said in the outer range reviews, I think you'll see those before this. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I will say this says keep cold and uh, drink fresh on the label. I don't know if that'll come off, but down here. And uh, they don't have a can on the label. All right. I said that in the other one. They don't have a can. They don't have a date on the can. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not going to restart the intro here because who the fuck cares? But they do not have a can on the label. Did I say can again? I'm going to leave it in. Fuck it. They don't have a date on the can. What the fuck am I doing? But anyway, um, I know this is about just over two and a half months old because I checked their Instagram page. This was canned in like mid-September. Uh, I'm reviewing this one at the end of November. So we should be good. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one that Ridge had on hand and he didn't have sent from Craft Shack. I could be wrong, but pretty sure. Uh, the two outer range beers kind of exploded out of the can. I mean, not really exploded, but kind of gushed out a little bit. And this is doing the same thing. So I don't know. I have no idea. I took all of these and put them directly into the fridge when I got them. So I don't know, maybe something happened in transit. Now, this is not as crazy carbonated as the uh, the two outer range beers. They were ridiculous. This, yeah, there's a decent size head, but I can actually pour it kind of okay. So Idaho 7 Motuac and Amarillo, that is a interesting hop combination i will say oh that looks beautiful so that looks like a hazy you would like to uh drink i mean that's the, if, if you told me it's a new england style ipa hazy ipa and i saw that color i was like yeah totally all day has a honey orange very murky turbid i'm gonna say murkid for this one it just it's fucking you can't see through it it's opaque beautiful has about a uh two and a half finger um off white looking head very creamy looking though, uh, mostly tightly compacted uh, bubbles in there, not any huge ones. That looks beautiful. So maybe a little bit more carbonated, uh, but definitely not like those outer range beers. Let's get a nose. Ooh, that's nice. So I'm getting like a big lemon lime thing here. Motuaka is kind of hitting me. Sweeter citrus. I'm going to say lemon lime, orange grapefruit, definitely citrus leaning in this one. A little bit of pineapple, and I'm getting like a confectionery sugar. So if you were smelling this one and you said candied lemon lime or candied citrus, I'd be like, okay. It's not actually hitting me like a candied uh, lemon lime, like if you had like a Jolly Rancher or like a, a Lifesaver or a Starburst, something like that. It doesn't have candied fruit vibes as much for me, but I definitely get like a confectionery kind of sweetness. So yeah, lemon lime, orange, grapefruit, Pineapple. Yeah, a lot of juicy, sweet, candied fruit is, is pretty much the easy way to describe this one. I'm really not getting any, anything else. There's no floral component, no herbaceousness, no dankness, no earthy, nothing of that of nature. I'm going to inhale the head because why not? Yeah, this smells really fucking good, honestly. Just over two and a half months old, and it's fucking, it smells awesome. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Rich. That's nice. That is really nice. So I think the nose is better than the taste. The nose led me to believe this was going to be, you know, sweeter, candied, confectionery sugar, more of a uh, sweet leaning type of hazy IPA. And it's not as sweet as I anticipated. Body in this one's like straight up medium body, 7.5%. That's fine. And the mouthfeel, really nice. It's soft and smooth. Not necessarily creamy, but there's a nice soft smoothness. But there, it's carbonated. It's like moderately carbonated, but 
Nice soft smoothness. Look at that lacing, beautiful. So right from a hit with like a white grapefruit, like more of a bitter and grapefruit, zesty, rindy, like citrus oils. Right after that, the pineapple kicks in, mixing it with like a little bit of orange. It's sweeter. It's more juicy pineapple and juicy orange, not as candied as the nose would lead me to believe it was going to be, but it didn't. About three quarters of the way through the palate, I'm hit with this earthy kind of resinous hop character to let you know this is a beer. This has hops in it. And it finishes with like a mild to moderate bitterness. Not, it's not a crazy bitter, but it's approaching moderate bitterness. And this is like slightly dry. 7.5%, you can't tell. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice IPA. I, do, I haven't had a lot of beers with Idaho 7 in it lately. Idaho 7 was one of those hops that maybe like three or four years ago, tons of places were using them. And I would get like, sometimes like green pepper, I'd get lemon lime. So I feel like the lemon lime I thought was gonna be a lot bigger because the nose indicated like, you know, sweeter lemon lime. I'm really not getting that that much in the taste. It's more, I said, grapefruit, orange, and pineapple. Maybe a little lemon lime on the finish. I will say this, if the nose would have carried over, this would have been a fucking high score. I'm talking like high four, two, five, low four, five. That's what I would have gave this beer, hands down. As is though, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. The back end is a little bit more bitter than I thought it was gonna be. So it's not as sweet, it's more bitter. And um, the, the nose didn't carry over to the taste and I really love the nose. The taste is really good, but not as great as the nose. So I'm gonna have to be honest with my review and I will say, let me pour the rest and then we'll, we'll almost ship it and then I will give it a rating. So yeah, not as I mean, I, I don't know. It gushed out of the can, but nothing, nothing like those outer range beers in terms of carbonation. Okay, so pouring the rest of it in, it bumped up the sweetness a little bit. Or maybe it's just perceived on my palate as the sweetness being bumped up, but I think it did a little bit. Anyway, not much more to say. I don't think it's going to change the rating all that much. So I'm going to give a Colony of Small Animals from Dewey I'm going to give that a straight four out of five. Can't do much more than that. Um, it's funny because it says Dewey Beer Company brewed in Harrison, Delaware. I thought they're out of Dewey Beach, Delaware, because that's that's where it says they're located on their website and everywhere else. But it doesn't really matter. They're in Delaware. Uh, yeah, four out of five. It's a good beer. I just wish it was a little bit more sweet, which is a rarity nowadays for me to say that in a, like a IPA review or a double IPA. Um a 7.5% IPA, whether you call it IPA or double, I feel like a little, I need a little bit more sweetness here. And I think this will be bumped up in like the low 425. That knows what it carried over, high 425, low 45. But as is four out of five, it's good. It's solid. I like it. I'll drink the rest of this and enjoy every single second of it. Not much more to say about it. Uh, price and availability. This is where you come in, Ridge. I don't know what you paid for this one. I'd imagine something like this is $18 to $20 a four pack. Can't imagine it being much more than that. And availability, Dewey. I have no idea where they get distro. Um, the, the only time I've had Dewey beers is when people have sent them to me uh, because they're very generous individuals like Ridge and a, uh, another good friend of mine, Alex, who uh, has hooked me up with Dewey stuff before. Outside of that, we don't get Dewey here in the Western New York area. Uh, I'm sure you can maybe buy some of their stuff online. I don't know. I just, if anybody knows about the availability of Dewey out there, let me know. Uh, so 7.5%, I already said, you really can't tell that it hides the alcohol well. Um, four out of five is a good score. Uh, I would like to say, see this a little bit more sweeter and I think it would be right in my wheelhouse. So huge thanks to Ridge for hooking me up with this one. Thank you very much, good sir. I have now completed all the hop forward beers from Ridge. I got a couple of stouts from him uh, that I need to get to, but pretty much everything from his uh, beer mail has been consumed for the most part. I think I have like three beers left, uh, but yeah, really good one. I think the best of the hop forward beers were the, uh, the peaches and cream one. I owe a paperback brewing company for the peaches and cream IPA. That was really good. I really like that one. It just hit me right in uh, the feels because I love peaches and cream in general. Anything peach, like kind of dessert beer. And it just did, for me, it just did it. Um, this one would be the second best and then the two hard range beers as far as top four beers from uh, Ridge's box is concerned. So once again, check out Ridge if you haven't checked out his channel already. Great dude. He loves his hazies. He loves Dewey. He says Dewey is the number one brewery in the state of Delaware. And uh, 
who am I to argue? I don't know. I haven't had as many beers from Delaware outside of Dogfish Head and Dewey. So he probably is correct in that assumption. So thanks again to Rich. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.